Hello my spooky loves and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. If you are new I would love to remind you to quickly hit that subscribe button and please be sure to like this video if you enjoy watching it. I am so freaking excited because we are starting my decorate with me for Halloween series. we are filming the living room portion of the Halloween 2022 decorate with me and I am definitely most excited for this room you all haven't seen this space at all unless you follow me on Instagram which I definitely recommend that you do I have shared the living room already but we're gonna be decorating this space here this is our couch living room area and then we have our mantle and stuff well this mantle and this mantle over here to decorate and these really cool windows behind me here so we're going to decorate this entire space and I'm so excited. Before so I'm so excited to formally introduce Benny to you all. I had so many good comments, thank you by the way, in that video, that Target haul, asking you all for names and I got so many good names, but I wanted you all to actually be able to vote and pick. So hands down the number one choice was Benny and then the second was Goldie, which I loved for a girl. So I had you guys vote on my community tab. Make sure you always check out my community tab. I do polls, sneak peeks, all kinds of stuff and hands down Benny won. And I think a lot of that was because my cat's name is Marnie and so it's only fitting we stick with Halloween Town. So anyways, Benny's gonna be helping me in today's video. We are gonna jump in. I'm gonna share some stuff right now. I have already shared, I think, a clip in the beginning of all the bins. I have dozens of bins of Halloween and right now I went through the bins and I pulled out some stuff to start. So we're going to start working through the living room. I don't really have a plan in place for how these videos are going to go. It's going to be some music, some of me talking, sharing. We're just going to dive in and kind of see what happens. All right, you ready? Okay, let's get started. Okay, so Marnie girl, don't eat her hair. Psst, don't eat her hair. Don't eat her hair. Anyways, we're in the living room. I currently have a lot of stuff just kind of like on the floor. So my thought is the bins can get overwhelming because I have so many of them. You saw them in the hall. They're all in the master right now. So I tried to pull out things that I typically use in my living room because I have to decorate the boys room and the kitchen, which by the way, our countertop is being delivered early on Friday. So I will be filming a decorate the kitchen, which I think the living room I'm most excited for. That would be the second space. But anyways, this is stuff that I'm thinking will go in here. So we have this area to decorate and you don't mind that we're batching stuff up. Glenn got this whole wall done for me and we had to move the outlet from here to behind the TV so you didn't see it. So anyways, I have to paint that still, but we need to decorate this mantle. Say hi. Obviously Hocus Pocus had to be on for this. And then we have this mantle to decorate, which is my favorite and the couch area. So we're gonna jump in, I think, to the mantles. Maybe we'll do the couch first. Let's do the couch first, okay. So currently in this area, as you can see, I have tons of like throw pillows and just some comfy, cozy textures. I really like to mix different textures. So we're gonna get rid of some of the pillows keep some and add Halloween in. I probably end up changing these out like a million times, but I love having like tons of pillows on the couch. So this little guy here, he was from Home Goods, and then this one was from Home Goods, and the pumpkin I think was TJ Maxx. This little, where are we at on here? It's backwards for me. This little cutie over here, she was, I want to say, oh, I can't remember. I got her years ago. I cannot remember, but I love that little vintage pillow. I'm trying to decide if I want that there, if it's too much. And then I also have this cutie from Michaels. 
Salem has a little chair over here, so my thought is one of them can sit on her chair. But I can't decide. Or if we should take that one away and just keep Halloween in the middle. I don't know. Let's see. I'm going to put both of these aside. I love this pillow. Look how cute that is. And as we decorate the mantle, I'll probably get like a better feel. And I also got this amazing candy corn throw blanket from Home Goods. So I'm going to, I've shared this on the channel before, has all these cute tassels. I'm going to lay this on the end right here just for like another little added layer of texture, which to me always equals like warmth. I love it. Okay, so for the mantle, I think what I need to do first is take down the candlesticks because I'm going to put a creepy cloth up there first. I'm trying to think if I have some sort of like a Halloween vase that I can put these in because that would look pretty up there. All right, let's... I think I'm going to use the black one. I have the white, I can't decide. I have the white creepy cloth and I definitely do lighter colors, but I think this might make more of an impact. So we're going to try putting this up there first and see what we think. I'll probably like tweak that a million times, but just so you get the idea. So for anyone who might ask, the mantle is from Wayfair. Both the mantles are from Wayfair and this mantle mirror, which I love so much, that is from Target. Um, and I just got that in and it is like, it's so good, I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna pull you guys up a little bit for the mantle, okay. So I'm gonna put the candlesticks back now. Could not recommend this enough. I've done this for years. You've seen it on my Instagram, putting candlesticks in front of a mirror. I don't know what it is. It looks so beautiful to me. I will change them out to black when it's closer to Halloween, but right now I have this pretty mauve color. And I always use these gold candlesticks because you guys know I decorate with gold. And when you hit it like at the right angle and you look at it, it looks like there's like, 12 of them, you know, from the side because the reflection, it's so beautiful. So I think I'm going to burn these soon. So I have, I'll share my decorate the dining room and then the decorate the kitchen videos since it's a series, it's all broken into different pieces, different videos. But on that table, I have these candles, but I burn them and there's like wax dripping everywhere. So I need to do that with these. I just haven't yet. Okay. So you can see how that looks there. I love that. All right, let's keep going. So I always love this little cutie. This was from Michaels. Again, this was like a DIY. You guys will notice a theme throughout my house. I buy things that you're supposed to DIY, but I leave them because I love natural looking things. I just do. So I've got a little rat here. I'm thinking for the end so his tail can hang over. I will truly change this like a hundred times and I also do not go for symmetry. I feel like when you have the candles in the middle, that's like enough and the rest you can kind of just play with if that makes sense. I don't know if I like this here though. We'll see, I'm debating on this right now. I have all of these guys that I have always loved. They are so cute, it's this one. And then this one and this one. I got them years ago and they kind of go with this pillow. I'm thinking if this pillow, which by the way, let's give this a little close up here. Look how good this is. I'm thinking if this pillow is there, then maybe he should go on the mantle because they just kind of remind me of each other. So maybe we'll try him here. And this little weirdo, we love a good little weirdo. Next, I've got my little black cat. She's really cool. And you know what? I have a stack of books too. Let me see. A little stack of books. A little close up. I was thinking maybe she could sit on that, but I think, I don't think that's going to work. I'm too scared she's going to fall on someone. Ooh. Okay, that height is really cool though. 
I love the height, but I don't know if that's safe. <laughs> it doesn't look safe. I want to add a little orange to this side since those little guys have little touches. I also keep all of my paper bats every year. I have three of these, so at some point I will zoom through. Zoom through. I will fast forward through me putting spooky bats all over the place because it'll take forever if you like watch me put the tape on them. But it always gets cooler at the end when there's just bats everywhere. So that's coming. How do we feel about that little broom leaning there? That's pretty cute. The other thing I'm going to do because I can't decide, I think I am going to start putting some bats around. It will help me to see like more of a finished look. Let's see, I'm gonna back you up. So you can kind of see like the colors and the space. And I really do want these somewhere too, because I like how it's mixed. Like, I love when things are like a normal decor mixed with weird decor. I'll try it like that. Okay, I'm gonna start working on some bats. We'll probably play with this again after I get some bats like spread across this wall. So let's see. Hang tight, we'll see. <laughs> do it would be much more dramatic like I just I can't get enough of like the paper bats and the paper butterflies and stuff they just add so much to a space so I'm gonna pull you in a little bit here okay so this is what we're working with now I have them kind of coming in from over here and just swarming up so they're on the mirror there's even a little one on one of the candlesticks I love how this looks I feel like the key to me and I'll keep changing these as I go. The key to me is always to step back when you're doing bats because that's when you realize that there's like holes if that makes sense um, and you kind of see like even right now I'd rather this little guy be here and kind of move that one down. You could tweak it forever. I didn't want to like share the whole thing because you'd just be looking at my butt the entire time but now you kind of understand you know the gist of it a little bit. So ton of these bats that I got from Target and they're made like this which I didn't realize to like be flying almost have like a flying effect so of course I'm trying to figure out what to do now to make these look like they're like flying from the ceiling let me try something I don't think I'm tall enough for this yeah I'm not okay but you kind of get the idea can you see that Maybe I will put some of these around hanging at different heights. I'll need Glenn for that. He's outside building our fireplace stuff, our fire pit. Um, but that might look cool. Or maybe, I don't know if I'm going to push into this. I'm scared to like mess with the mantle too much. I don't want to like poke holes in it. It's real wood. Okay, you probably can't see him anyways because the thing, yeah. He's under here. I'm not gonna be able to see him. Oh, that one's gone forever now. I'm just kidding. I just can't move the couch myself. Okay, what about if we put them like three in the center? I don't know if I like, is that big enough? Is that drama, enough drama for us? Oh my God. I just dropped the second one. This is not super easy, you guys, okay? It's so hard because like on camp, okay, well, there you go. Now you can kind of see. Let me, let me just, just roll with me for a sec. I'm sure I'll mention this in like every one of my Decorate With Me videos, but I really try to always do odd numbers. That's why there's five candlesticks, three bats which just entered my brain. When you're decorating odd, I feel like it's really satisfying, which is funny because like I'm a Virgo and I hate, hate odd numbers. Like I'm all about even numbers, but it looks better to the eye, trust me. I gotta step back and see, but I do kind of like that. What do we think? We're gonna leave that for now. 
Okay, so I think we're almost done. I also have this that I was thinking of adding just to give some more like color right here. I think I am going to do that. So let me get the tape. We're gonna put this up. This is one of my favorite garlands of all time from a company called Peach and Goldie. Look how beautiful. I, this may end up getting moved to my kitchen. Um, once the kitchen stuff is done and I film that, you may see me putting this there. I can't decide, I have so many garlands. I can't decide, we're gonna try this out here first. frustrating for someone who wants things to be even I'm obsessed with the couch but as you can probably see let me back you up um let me lower you down the so you have two cushions two cushions and then the cuddler so it's like the cuddler piece by the way if you ever have the opportunity to get a couch that has a cuddler piece do it don't even question it this little corner as you can see is like at an angle it is amazing we use it every single day it's the best i'm thinking that's probably good for that i'm going to take you off the stand let's see notes about books real quick then we'll jump into it first of all Wendy Tranfield if you like thriller kind of like a mystery true crime books you have to check her out I just freaking flew through these two books three books I can count I need more coffee um, I am in love my girl Robin recommended the birthday party and I loved it I read it in one day and then I read I started getting into the Madison Harper series so she has a ton of books that are like separate from series and then she has these ones that are Madison Harper detective Madison Harper books book one was Shadow Falls it was every emotion in the world I'm in love I have to go back and reread the last like five chapters it was a roller coaster you have to read it and then yesterday I finished cry for help this one was not as good as shadow falls but the ending had ugh, a scene that was just a scene see in my head I can like visualize it it had a part that was so creepy and heartbreaking two parts oh, it's about a, a girl who's found on a ferris wheel I can't talk about the topic on here but with something done to herself and anyways it, it was so good my mailman's here oh he's not pulling in this time he always has to pull in okay so anyways madison harper detective madison harper these are wendy dranfield you've got to check them out anyways so as soon as i finished the <laughs> the last um few pages of cry for help i had a knock on the door and it was a delivery I am so excited to share this book with you guys. I have not started it yet, but this will be my read tonight. I have become obsessed with reading again, by the way. Those three novels in like seven days, I'm gonna finish the whole Detective Madison Harper series, but I'm gonna pause it and read this first. So I met Vanessa. Vanessa Abigail Lambert is the author, and she followed me on Instagram and asked if she could send me this book. She sent the most beautiful package with like merchandise. I'll share all that later as well. But look at this book, you guys. It's called Cider Mill Coven. It is like the most aesthetically pleasing book I have ever seen. The moons, the stars, there's bats. And the book is matte like it has that soft matte finish it is like so beautiful like even the font maybe because i just finished reading those and the font in this is so different and i love it so anyway she explained this book to me 
it's almost like Gilmore Girls meets Sabrina the Teenage Witch and I was like say less because if you know me at all Gilmore Girls is my favorite show in the entire world I can like say every episode I am obsessed and I clearly love all things witchy and I loved Sabrina so I am freaking excited to dive in. I started to read the back last night. It's about three cousins who apparently like all have these weird things happen to them. Anyways, they come to find out that their grandma Lydia, I'm guessing is a witch, and she wants to teach her all of her green witch ways. Um, and it just, it's apparently full of like twists and turns and there's like romance and it's funny and it's adventurous and it's, I'm, I'm so excited. And there's so much 90s in here. But it's all about that like 90s Halloween nostalgia and that's what I'm about in life. So anyways, I will link her description. Nope, I will link her <laughs> website in the description box so you can check out Cider Mill Coven if you'd like as well. I'm freaking excited. Huge thank you to Vanessa. She sees this, she wrote me the nicest message. I'm excited and I believe she wants this to become a trilogy. So you gotta get your hands on this so you're prepared for book number two and three. Okay, let's get into the space now. So. To start, I am going to, once again, this is a different kind of cloth. This is more like the cheesecloth material. We are going to drape this. A little like distressed, I have no doubt. I'm gonna fall and trip on this at some point. But I'm sorry that this is on an angle as well. It's not the wall, it's my freaking camera stand. I gotta fix it, but anyways. Okay, let's get started. So. I know for this mantle, two of my favorite things are these. You've seen them before. I don't know where I got them years ago. I get asked every year on Instagram because they're like, their height is so creepy and cool. Bring you in a little bit closer. I also don't know where I'm going to put her yet. She'll be in the kitchen, but I just had to share because Hocus Pocus is playing in the background. And maybe it was last year I did a poll on here asking people who she looks like because when I found her at an antique store she looked exactly like the teacher from Hocus Pocus to me like I don't know if they did that on purpose or not but I'm obsessed she looks just like her you guys oh my god so anyways she'll find a spot not here but somewhere so I do also have a ton of different framed this one an old friend drew for me um these prints are by oh my god I think it's Hey There Designs. I'll link it down below. Um, that one needs to move. But anyway, she has the coolest print, so I was thinking about putting some of these up here because I also, see I'm already moving the spiders. I also, um, I don't know where I was going with that. I said and I also twice, and I, I literally, I don't know, it's gone, it's left my brain. Um, cute, okay. I don't know if I want this one in the middle. I like the touch of pink, only because there's a touch of pink on the um, mantle now. I also, of course, love this one because it's a black cat. So let's see if we can. Oh, we did it upside down. Okay, anyways, it's going to go in the middle. I also have this garland that I got off Etsy. Sorry, my storm door. A long time ago, and it's so good, especially with Hocus Pocus playing. So let's put this up, and then it'll be easier to kind of see where to go. So there's that. Oh my god, that's perfect timing with the flames. That is so funny. Okay, I love the Hocus Pocus there. It's gonna have to stay, and you can still see like the flames below, but I definitely don't want this in the middle now. I don't mind the ends, but I don't like... Okay, so we are back, and I had to totally walk away from that for a minute, which I tend to have to do, because sometimes I'm like, that's not what I'm going for at all. So move you in here I kind of got rid of everything I think what was throwing me was the hocus pocus banner as much as I love that banner this is not the spot for it so I went and put the weird little creepy yet cute vintage cats I'll zoom you in to see them 
And then I decided to keep it pretty traditional. Blacks, whites, oranges, that's always my thing. I think it's gonna like make me the happiest. So I have my two little spiders there, this little witch girl. She may get changed out at some point. I can't, I can't decide. I also have this like bat that I'm looking at down here that I love. I gotta look at that, okay. Anyways, and then the little witch hat here. This I need to fill with candy corn. This is that um, bubble gum machine that Target had last year. And then the other little cutie, like from the three set, that's on the mantle over there I just showed you. And then this little ghost that I've always loved. I think this is what we're going to do. I think I like this better and it feels more me. Okay, so before I go, I forgot that I had these little ghosts. I obviously have to come by and cut all of these, but I wanted to share how it added a little wood. Okay, now I'm realizing that one has to come up. But anyways, I'll handle all that. I was tying them on quickly just to show you guys. But these are the ones that I got from the Dollar Tree. I can probably just pull that up, honestly. Um, anyways, I got them from the Dollar Tree, and they are so stinking cute. And I had told Glenn I didn't want to actually loop them as a um, garland, which would still be adorable. I think I'll do that with the pumpkin one. But I was like, maybe I'll hang them individually, and this was like the perfect spot. All right, my spooky loves, that is going to wrap up the first of my Decorate With Me for Halloween 2022 series. I am so excited that we did this. I can't wait to share the boys' room and Salem's room and the table and the coffee bar and the kitchen. I think I'm even going to do a bathroom one. I'll probably throw in like some small shops that are sending me things along the way so it's not just like a bathroom, but you get the idea. Let me know in the comments if you like these kind of videos. I'm really, really hoping that you do. If you do, please be sure to like it. It helps my channel so much. Share the video. If you have friends that you know will like it, share it on Instagram. Those kind of things just mean the world to me and they help me so much. So I'm gonna end the video here, share a little bit more footage for the little outro and I am, yeah, I'm just grateful you guys are here. I'm really excited for the series. I need to get more bats too. I decided that wall also needs bats, so I'm going to order them and I'll share in another video. But for now, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you again. Remember, every Monday and Thursday I upload and I will see you in my next video. Bye.